Months of hearings and policy work didn't produce the result most Republicans wanted for Senate Bill 193. The legislation establishes a system of education savings accounts, allowing lower income students to use public dollars to attend private schools. Conservatives say fellow Republicans voting to further study the bill rather than pass it were hoodwinked. We've all been terribly misled by all this. But opponents say the concerns are real, with the system lacking oversight, accountability, and options for disabled students. We would be taking our hard-won public money and put it into schools which aren't even recognized by the Department of Education for having a basic um, educational program. There's also a potentially major hit to taxpayers that prompted Republican Finance Chairman Neil Kirk to withhold his support. This bill downshifts $99 million to local property taxpayers in ways that they will not be able to avoid by reducing expenses. Still, this is just a committee recommendation. There could be enough Republican votes on the House floor to pass an amended version of the bill. We already passed it out of the House once, and I'm uh, pretty confident that we can uh, do it again. In a statement, Governor Chris Sununu said thanks to the representatives who voted today to support expanding educational opportunities for low-income families, we hope for a better result on the floor of the House. That floor vote will come either Wednesday or Thursday of next week. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.